This one is for the Christians who feel that there is some conflict between their religion and psychology. If you don't belong in that group, then this really doesn't apply to you. I've just met some Christians who, simply because of religion, choose to fight psychology. And I just wanted to point out that the real difference between going to confession and telling your priest what you've done that you're ashamed of, and going to a psychologist and telling him what you've done that you're ashamed of, is that the priest is going to tell you something along the lines of you're forgiven and as a penance you must say 50 Ave Marias, or however you pronounce that. You know, because God's forgiveness, it's a bit like a video game, you know? If you lose one of your lives, you have to collect a hundred raindrops or something, then you get another extra life, you know, and you're back where you started in that regard, and, you know, we're cool. The psychologist, however, is going to say this is because of something else, and he's going to try to help you. Imagine that. You, you come to someone with a problem and they actually say, let's solve your problem. You know, instead of saying, that's a horrible thing, they try to help. And If you had to guess which of these ways of thinking do you think breeds the more hatred and inspires people to kill those that they hate, those that they consider to be evil? The person who, when he does something wrong, is told, that's wrong, and you should fight it with something that we consider to be good, or the person who says, that is probably a sign of this or that, and we'll talk some more about it, we'll find out what the problem is, we'll solve it, we'll get rid of the source of this destructive behavior. Just a thought. That's it for this one. Bye.